Good evening. A large-scale police operation is underway in Birmingham city centre tonight after a series of violent disturbances. Shops have been looted and windows smashed by gangs of youths. Roads have been sealed off as police try to contain the situation. So far, 35 people have been arrested. No one's been injured. In a moment, we'll have the latest from the police command centre. But first, Bob Hockenhill has this report. Brazen looting in the centre of Birmingham tonight. There's been a heavy police presence since the early evening after a number of shop windows were smashed. Extra officers have been drafted in to restore calm as gangs of youths wandered through the main streets. Some of the disorder was filmed by passers-by who'd come into the city centre to visit and then found themselves witnessing the trouble. We've seen people smashing up shop windows, trying to get inside. Um, the police was trying to push everybody back, people kept moving forwards. Um, we eventually seen people breaking into the orange shop and they were looting out of there, grabbing anything that they could really before the riot police came. As sporadic trouble involving groups of youth spread to other parts of the city, the police said they were controlling access on some of the routes into Birmingham so they could restore calm. So far, 35 people have been arrested, some on suspicion of aggravated burglary, some for violent disorder and one for a breach of the peace. At least six of those arrested are juveniles. Many pubs and restaurants closed their doors early. National Express said their coaches would only be travelling into the city as far as the inner ring road. West Midlands Assistant Chief Constable Sharon Rowe said local communities have made it clear they don't want this kind of violence and anyone who commits acts of crime will be brought to justice as soon as possible. Bob Hockenall, BBC Midlands Today, Birmingham. Well, just a few minutes ago I spoke to Assistant Chief Constable Sharon Rowe and asked her what the latest situation is. Yes, I still have a significant number of officers in Birmingham city centre. There is still outbreaks of violence, uh, looting of shops are still taking place. We are making a number of arrests. We will continue to make a number of arrests while this minus thuggery continues in our city centre. This is totally unacceptable. We've had numerous CCTV cameras across the city centre. We will make further arrests, um, but the policing operation currently is still in progress. Did you have any hint at all that trouble might break out this evening? We had some Twitter um, intelligence um, that came in round about lunchtime to suggest there was going to be trouble in the city at 6 o'clock this evening. Um, we formalised a policing operation. We've worked in partnership with the Fire Ambulance and Birmingham City Council. So we've put a spontaneous plan in place um, and you started arriving in the city around about 6.30 to 7 o'clock tonight. Okay, we... um, since that time, officers are making a number of arrests. Okay, well, we have heard from our reporter who has been in the city centre for us this evening that she's seen uh, looting happening at many stores, one particular particularly Maplin's electrical store being looted and she says she's seen officers just standing and watching the looters well make a grab for it and run off w why would that be um, yes well we have um, we have also seen the looting going on on the CCTV cameras um, we've got over 300 officers deployed in the city centre oh. it is sporadic throughout the city centre and we will make arrests when we're on scene and we can make arrests but, but I've can got I ask officers you there who are making arrests now and then. can I ask you why would your officers just be standing there watching surely they should be stopping them well, as you would have seen, it's holding public order lines. The officers progress and they move in and make an arrest when they witness offences. Some of the offences are caught on CCTV and we will make arrests later. But at the moment, it's about bringing calm back to our city. I have got a message. Please, please, please. It's mainly young people. Mum and Dad, get on the phone, phone your loved ones up and get them home. It's not safe at the moment in the city. Take them home. Assistant Chief Constable Sharon Rowe speaking to me a little bit earlier. Well, Sarah Falkland is in Birmingham City Centre now, where she's been for the past couple of hours. We can speak to her now on the phone. Sarah, where exactly are you and what are you seeing? I'm at the top end of New Street, just down from Victoria Square in the shadow of the town hall. We've had something of a mini surge of looting here in the last few moments. As I look around me, the Santander Bank, we saw a crowd of youth rush towards it, cheering, they smashed the windows grab the cash machine out and the, uh, the empty cash pockets littering the pavement here. Boots for chemists have been targeted. The casino's been targeted. We've seen an awful lot of mobile phone shops being hit by looters tonight. People openly um, walking out with boxes from electrical stores, carrying them down the streets. And at one point, we had something like 
half an hour where we witnessed open looting and not a police officer in sight. And Sarah, do you get a feeling that things are getting better or, or worse? It seems to be a little calmer now, but it's been a bit of a game of cat and mouse tonight because as the looters move around the city, there's so many little alleyways and streets in Birmingham. The police tactic, obviously, is to try and flush them out. It doesn't seem to have been working. And, and what are people saying to you? A lot of people, I presume, caught up or innocent buses by who just want to get Absolutely. home safely. Yeah, I mean, we spoke to one young mother with her eight-month-old baby who was trapped, she couldn't get back to the ball ring where her car park was, was parked. Um, We've met young people who were just here having a night out who've been caught up in it. Um, quite a lot of concern, quite a lot of panic here. Very frightening indeed. Thanks very much indeed, Sarah. And on BBC WM, there's updates every 30 minutes on the disorder in Birmingham City Centre. The BBC News Channel will also keep you up to date throughout the night. Well, let's find out what the weather has in store. Here's Shafali Oza.